Hello, hello. I do really sorry. I have a problem with the energy. The power went off. Okay, don't worry, teacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm worried. I'm worried about it. I'm, I'm worried about it. Maybe I'm going to look for for a solar panel in order to to have the power on all the time. It is a good idea, teacher. Yeah, yeah. The problem is that it's so expensive at this moment. The initial, okay, how do you say inversion in English, teacher? Invest money? Invest money. Invest, invest. Invest money. I need, I need to invest money. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes. 11, 11 participants do we have now? Okay, let me see. I'm gonna call by name. Number five is here. Rosa Esperanza, are you there? Yes, present. Okay, okay, okay. Enara Inés. Present. I'm getting a feedback from uh -huh. I found it, I found it, Rosa. You have your computer and your cell phone at the same time connected. Maybe that is the the reason why I'm I'm, I'm hearing a kind of noise. Okay, Henara is there. Uh, let me see. Gutierrez yes, Sanchez. Yes. Gutierrez Sanchez. Mm -hmm. Gutierrez Sanchez. Present, teacher. Okay, present, present. Okay. Uh, let me see. Karen Yesenia. Karen. Karen está mal de salud. Acabo de hablar con ella. Uh, no está presente en la clase. Okay. Ayer también falló. Estaba enferma. Sí, también. sí, sí, está enferma. Okay. Gracias. Ada Daisy. Ada Daisy. No. Diana Carolina. Present teacher, Ada Daisy. Ah, Ada Daisy, mire. Eso es importante. What about Diana Carolina? Diana Carolina. What's going on here? Something's happening here. Wilfredo Guardado, present. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Leslie. Present teacher. Okay, welcome back, sir. Nice <laughs> to hear you again. I don't know, but I'm having some problem with this computer. Francisco Javier. Francisco, Francisco. No. 
Okay. Uh, Edward Ademir. Edward, Edward. Not today. Christian Obdulio. Christian, not today. Alexis Antonio. Present teacher. Exactly, okay, you are there. Okay. Felicita Cruz. Felicita. No. Eh, Helen. Ana Roxana. Yes, teacher. Eso. Eh, Fausto Antonio. Present teacher. Marielos. Present. Mengíbar Contreras. Mengíbar Contreras. Eliani. Present. Ok. En Walter Mauricio. Walter. Walter, Walter. Okay, it's not here. It's not here. Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you? Uh, I am fine. And the problem. Uh, uh, the connection, connection. The problem connection. Internet. Okay, internet connection, sir. Okay, nice. But thanks mm -hmm. God we are here again. Okay, as I told before. Today we are going to make a review about different topics that we have studied. And um, I need that you tell me what, uh, what topic do you remember? Only just the name of the topic that we studied. No more than that, only just the, the name of the topic. Uh huh. Tell me. Hello, 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 hello. No. <laughs> I suppose that all of you have your notebook with you. Supongo todos tienen un cuaderno con ustedes. And you are writing the date and the topic and I don't know, something else. Uh, teacher. Hello. Me. Uh, it los values the company. Okay. Um, Yesterday we were talking a, a lot about values, you know. The values. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, what else? What else do we have there? The val values the company in personal. Okay. What else?
somebody uh, can, can tell me about what we talked uh, the first day. How do we use infinity? Okay. Somebody is having problem. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm listening. A kind of noise. Okay. The passive boy. The passive boys. <laughs> mm -hmm. The passive boys. But we talk about how to use infinities. Do you remember that? I told you that we four. The infinity, uh, adding the word two to the base form, and we call it infinity. Do you remember? No? I remember that I promise you to send you a list of irregular bird and I didn't send it because I was waiting this moment to show you this list. I need that you take a look at your screen. What it, could somebody uh, tell me what is this? Fifty common irregular bears. Okay. Do you remember that at the beginning we talk about infinity, right? Okay. As, as you can see here, right here it say infinity. But in order that we can identify better, we are going to put the word two before this this verse. For example, to be, to become, to begin, and so on. This is the simple past, and this one is the past participle. We have here three different times. And now I would like to share with you. And maybe we are going to talk about some of them. Maybe not. We are not going to talk about the 50 verb that I have here, but these are the most common irregular verbs. And the problem with this is that in order to learn it, what we need to do is just learn it by, remember the word that I, that I told you the last time? Learn it by. I can't believe you that anybody remember what I said. Take a look at your notes. You have it there. William. William, William. Wilfredo, Wilfredo. Okay, as I told you before, in order to get familiar with this uh, verb, we need to learn it by heart, yeah? We need to memorize, we need to memorize. For example, if I'm using the verb be, we already know that be have, uh, has a three different form, am, um, is, and are, and the simple past is was or where. And the past participle is been. In this case, for example, using be, I can say I am. When I introduce myself, I say I am Max. What's your name? And somebody else said, said 
She is my friend. She is my mom. Uh, they are my brother. I'm using this verb be. And if we want to talk about simple past, I am going to say, I was working in Jamaica. It's a, just an example. They were studying in Japan. Yep. Okay. I need example from uh, that you can uh, create some example and share it with me using the B, uh, the B form. One by one, please. Do you know the meaning in Spanish of B? Ser o estar. Si dice yo soy, I am. I am Max. Nice to meet you. Sí. Pero si dice yo estoy, I am here waiting the bus. Aquí estoy esperando el bus. Okay. Give me some Example, please. Only one, raise your hand, no more than one. Solo uno, levante la manito. No más de uno. Hello. They, they eat, they eat, they eat, go restaurant. Could, could you repeat again, please? They eat the restaurant. Okay, but, but you are using the bear eat. They, they eat where? The restaurant. Ellos fueron al restaurante. ¿Será esta, estará bien? Ah, okay. <laughs> I got it. But in that, in, 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 in that case, you are using the bear go. In this case, um, they... Estamos usando they go, they go eat. No, no, no. Eh. Listen, 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 listen. Okay. Every time that we want to talk about pass, for example, if you are using the verb go, the pass is when. Your sentence uh, could sound this way. They went to eat at the restaurant. They went. They went to eat. So please unmute, unmute, unmute the microphones. Thank you. I, I, I got, but I got what you mean, but we need to know exactly what is the meaning of each bear in Spanish. I'm going to read it and you are going to tell me what is the meaning in Spanish. B. B. Tell me. What is the meaning of B? En español. Ser. O. o estar. Ser o estar. Okay. Become. Mm. Volverse. Volver. Sí. Regresar. Regresar. Venir. Venir. Ven. Convertirse. Convertirse en. Ok. Begin. Comenzar. Ok. If you want to say, uh, yo comencé a estudiar, which or this one you are going to use it? 
Si usted dice, yo comencé a estudiar, ¿cuál de las tres formas va a usar? Begum. Begum. Okay. Aquí, Begum. Dice, mire, aquí dice, mire. Oh, sí. <risa> simple. Entonces, si el verbo es begin, you are okay. going to say, okay. I began to study the last year. ¿Se da cuenta? <coughs> sí. Ok. What about this one? Bring. What is bring? Traer. Traer. Ok. Y usted dice, yo traje mi diccionario. Ok, tell me in, in English. Tell me in English. Yo traje mi diccionario. I brought my dictionary. I brought, I brought my, my dictionary. Ok. Y si decimos, ella trae su sombría. She brought She brings umbrella. She brings umbrella. She brings brings umbrella. And I'm going to ask an S because it's using with third singular. She brings her umbrella. Okay. <coughs> okay. Uh, later on, I'm gonna share with you this uh, chart that I have here. You are going to print it and. You are going to write down here uh, in Spanish, the meaning in Spanish. For example, I could say it in this way, ser o dar. Yeah? You can do it in this way. Uh, and I can say, fue. Fue. Fueron. Fueron. Or, puede ser, si no es, eh, si no fuese eh, el, el verbo eh, ser, entonces sería el estar. Estuvo, estuvieron. ¿Ya? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Ok. I'm going to send it in Word in order that you can do it, you can type it. Se lo voy a mandar así en Microsoft Word para que ustedes solo le escriban la traducción. And that way you are going to keep it in mind. And after that, what you are going to do is just to learn it by heart. You are uh, sweeping the floor and you are going to be repeating. Van a andar barriendo y van a andar repitiendo. Be, was, were, been, become, became. Yeah. You are going to... Uh, do the dishes and you are going to keep in repeating. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to read it a little bit. Uh, let me see how many. Okay. Listen, listen, the pronunciation. Remember, this is infinity, past simple, and past participle. And be, was, were, being. Become, became, become. Begin, began, begun. Bring, brought, brought. Buy, bought, bought. Choose, chose, chosen. Come, came, come. Do, did, done. Drink, drank, drunk. Drive, drove. Dripping. Eat, ate, eaten. How many pupusas did you eat yesterday? ¿Cuántas pupusas se comió ayer? I ate. Mire, estamos usando el pasado simple. Así funciona esta tablita. ¿Ya? Ok. Fall, 
feel fallen feel felt felt fine found found fly flew flown forget forgot forgotten and i said don't forget to do your homework and the next day somebody said teacher i forgot i forgot what am i saying ¿Qué estoy diciendo? Okay. do you call me no i forgot i forgot it yeah get got forgotten in the usa yeah give gave given but I don't, I don't want to be only just uh, me reading i need that you interact with me because uh that is the main purpose And remember, I'm showing you 50 most common bear. I got it here. Go, when, gone. Yesterday, I went to see uh, a movie. I go to the beach every Saturday. Yeah. I have a new car. I had an old car. Here, hurt. Keep my eyes open. I kept my eyes open. No new noun. Leave left left len lent and len okay como nadie quiere participar i'm going to stop i'm going to stop reading okay ahora se comprende cuáles son los infinitivos Hola. Yes, teacher. But remember, yes, teacher. remember that in a sentence, in order to, uh, we need to add the word to. Necesitamos agregarle la, la, la palabra to. Que en otras ocasiones, ese to es una preposition. ¿Ya? Ok. Entonces, Si nos aprendemos esta tablita, será más fácil para poder usar cada uno de los verbos. Así que por ser día viernes, se la regalo. Hoy se las voy a regalar. Aunque ya la deben de tener por ahí. But it's a present for you. It's a present. Thank you. It's a present. And we need, take, uh, we need to take care about this because remember that they call it uh, irregular. Why? Because in uh, infinity, they have a way to write it. For example, ran. In simple past, ran. And in this one, the past participle, ran. Yeah? We write it almost the same in present and, and past participle. And sometimes we produce the sound in a different way. Say, said, said. I see you every day. I saw you yesterday. I haven't seen you. Yeah? Okay. Remember that what you are going to do is just to look it up in your dictionary and you are going to type it, the, the, the translation into Spanish. Imagine send. I'm going. I'm going to send you a message. Yeah. Mire. 
if and if if I want to talk about yesterday, and I say okay, yesterday I sent you a message and you didn't answer me. Message. Yep. Teacher. Hello. Teacher. Tell me. Will you repeat the sentence using the verb C, please? The present. Um, I see you every day. Okay. I see you every day in conference. I saw yesterday. I saw you yesterday and so I haven't you. seen you for a while. This I, is, haven't, I haven't, I haven't seen you. I haven't I seen you. Seen. Yeah, using this one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is called a uh, perfect time. No los he visto desde hace mucho tiempo. But don't worry about the use of perfect time because you're gonna learn it. Yeah. Okay. But but mm -hmm. what I'm what what I'm um, showing you is how you are going to use every time. Yeah. If you learn it by heart, you are going to be able to use it. Yeah. Imagine that somebody say, okay, I'm selling a uh, fruit. Yeah. Yesterday I sold, I sold, I sold shoes. This is an example. And what about this one? I have sold a lot of pins during my life. Yo he vendido muchas cosas. I have sold. Remember that, that this, this, this part, we are going to use it also uh, when we talk about passive. Remember that we talk about passive too. Se recuerdan que hablamos de pasivos yeah. también. See? ¿Sí? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, imagine that I, that I say in this way, I send a letter. Yo envío una carta. How we are going to switch it into passive? ¿Cómo lo voy a cambiar a pasivo? The letter. A letter. The letter. It's singular, it's singular. You are going to use is. The letter is send. Send, and you are going to use this. Yeah. Yeah, it's send. send by me. Yeah. Okay. okay. That, that is the reason why I'm showing you this, uh, this 50 common irregular verb, because in that way you can use it. Okay, but what about the rest of people? They don't talk anything. And I need that they speak. Hello, hello, hello. Remember that we are making a review today. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, okay, we already talked about infinities, right? Do you remember the last class that we were talking about it? Uh, 
I'm going to show you something else, not that you can remember. Do you remember this, uh, this chart? How to use infinities? Related to vision animation. And right here you say four forms that consist of two plus bay form of the verb are called infinitive. Cuando la forma base del verbo se le agrega la partícula tú, al verbo le llamamos infinitivo. Infinitive I, are used to express purpose. Los infinitivos son usados para expresar propósito. Light and mission statement. Example, why does the company exist? The answer is this, to bring inspiration and innovation to every athlete in the world. And we add the word to, to bring. Mm -hmm. Infinities are also used to express direction, like in vision statement. And we have a question, where is the company going? Our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by 2020. Do you remember that? Okay, let me see, let me see, let me see. We have an exercise here and we are going to work on it. Okay, here we go. Here we go in exercise to say infinities. Correct four mistakes related to infinities. Everyone is going to write down these uh, five sentences in your notebooks. And you are going to try to find the mistakes. I'm going to give you like three minutes in order that you can do it. Remember, infinitives. Do you have it? You, do you have your manual, right? Okay, number one said, the company's mission is to distributing top quality office supplies. I need that you identify the mistakes that is there. Do you know what is a mistake? Saben lo que es un mistake? No, mistake is like an error, an error. ¿Cuál es el error que tiene la oración? Hay que corregirlo, hay cuatro que tienen errores. Si estamos hablando de infinitivos, hay que buscar cuáles son los errores. Distribuir en teacher. How is the right way to 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 write oh, the number one? Yeah, yeah, talking about number one. The Please. company's okay, the company's on. mission mission is to distribute distribute. Okay, go ahead. Quality of supply. Okay. Distribute. Remember that if we are talking about infinity, if we have uh, the word two right here, we don't we don't need to have ing. Yeah. This, this is the mistake, the ing. Distribute, distribute. 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 Okay. Okay. 
What about number two? Somebody else? Somebody else? Number two, number two. Um, or vision, it to become the layer in the telecommunication sector. Is correct, teacher? Let me see. Let me see, let me see. Okay, could you repeat again, please? Our vision is to become the leader in the telecommunication sector. Is that sentence right or wrong? That's right. Is right? Are you sure? Are you sure that is right? Teacher. Hello. Our vision, vision it or our vision is to become. Yeah. Uh -huh. Here we go. The right way is our vision is, yeah, right here. The mistake is it. it. Yeah, we need to drop it and uh, write down is. Okay. Okay, number three. Number three. Only one, only one. What about number three? We exist for to provide in integrated integrated logistic services. Tell me. Integrate, teacher, you can say. There is a mistake or not? Yeah. Which one? Oh, no, 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 no. Take a look, take a look. We exist for to provide integrate. We exist for to provide for. Mm -hmm. This is a mistake. For we exist to provide integral logic service. We exist for to provide integrated logistic service. How many mistakes uh, have we found? Quantos errores hemos encontrado? In 
the number three. Mm -hmm. Yep. Now, number one is one mistake. Ah. I and G. Ah, okay. okay. What about number two? It. It. By four. By, yeah. by it. It's the second one. Uh -huh. And the number three is right. We exist for to provide integrity, integrated logistic service. It is okay in all centers. Yeah, number four, our goal is be recognized as the number one dairy producer. That's a mistake or not? Let me check. Talking about infinitives. Si estamos hablando de infinitivos, para que eso funcione, le hace falta algo. Sí. Ah, ok. Ahí. Puse it. ¿Quién lo dijo? Ya. Yeah. Entonces, Chava, tell us uh, how is the right way to, to say it. Our goal uh, is to be recognized. Yes, that's right. Our goal is to be recognized as the number one dairy producer. Ok. Number five. What about number five? Number five to be Rex MBS to be the number one manufacturer to plow for kids. Mm. What about the, the bear? Is, 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 is right or wrong in this way? To become. To become. Rex and Vision to become the number one. Do you remember that I show you this bear in, in my list? Yeah, if you have the, the word two right here, that means that you are not going to use ING. Okay? Keep it in mind, keep it in mind. Tienen que recordar esa parte de mantenerlo siempre en mente, ¿ok? Let me see the attendance. Let me see the attendant, please. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing. Déjeme ver la asistencia para ver si aparecieron algo otros personajes importantes. Let me see, let me see. Rosa, is there? Rosa. I present. Okay. I present teacher. Okay. Genara. Genara Inés. Present teacher. Okay. Harry Gutierrez Sanchez. Gutierrez present. Sanchez. Okay. Present. Karen Yesenia. Karen. Karen. Ella está enferma. Okay. Okay. You tell me. Say right. Okay. Eh, Ada Daisy. Ada Daisy. Present teacher. Okay. Eh, Diana Carolina. Diana Carolina. Diana Carolina. No, okay. Eh, Wilfredo. Yeah. Wilfredo. Leslie. Present teacher. Ok. Eh, Francisco Javier. Edward Ademir. Edward. 
No. Cristian Mabdulio. No. Alexis Antonio. Present teacher. Ok. Felicita Cruz. Felicita. Helen María. Ana Roxana. Present teacher. Fausto. Present teacher. Carla Marielos. Present. Guevara. Ok. Eh, Mengíbar Contreras. No. No here. Eliane Alejandra. Present. And Walter Mauricio. Present. I'm here, teacher. Okay. I know, I know. Okay, going back to the book. Going back to the book again, to the exercise that we are starting here, okay. Okay, what about the last, uh, the number five, Rex Ambition? To become in the number one. To become. Okay, to yes. become, okay. To become. Okay, let us talk about ING form after preposition. Use the word in the box to write sentences about your responsibilities at work. Okay, we have be in charge of, be committed to, be dedicated to, be responsible for, be accountable for. At the moment that we are going to use this expression, uh, we are not going to say be in charge. No, I'm going to say I am in charge of. You are in charge of. She is in charge of. And so on in this way. Okay. Remember that after of and to, we need to add ing. Okay, somebody wants to give me an example. Using this expression that I'm, we have here. I go to swimming every week. <laughs> Mm. Me too, uh, uh, but uh, sorry, sorry, using the, the yeah, 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 using the, the using the preposition. I'm not talking, sorry. <laughs> yeah, using the preposition for, for the reason oh, I yeah. told you that you can use only this expression, yeah. But if you if you want using another one, then no problem, but you need to take care about the preposition of and to. I need to be responsible for duty in my job. Where is the ING there? Duty. I have to be responsible to, no, I'm not. Yeah, I remember see, that. I, I, after yeah, yeah. after after the preposition of or to you are going to use ing yeah i have to be responsible for using the anything using my cell phone my computer my okay that's right yeah yeah Mille. Okay, somebody else? Hola. Stop. They will be in chain on day chain. What do you want to say? Be in be, be in the chain. Are you, are you using the first one? 
Yes. Okay. In that case, you are going to say they, they, we, they, they are, they uh -huh. are in share of. In Oh, uh -huh. Recuérdense que el B tiene tres formas. Am, is, and are. Okay. Okay. For, for example, uh, somebody could say, in my office, I am in charge of answering all the phone calls. In my office, no, yo soy el encargado de responder todas las llamadas telefónicas. Receptionist. Okay, another example. Yo lo hice diferente. Tell me. Ajá, es que no, o sea, sí eh, le puse una de esas indicaciones. Yeah. Pero lo hice diferente. Eh, but, but, keep it, de... but keeping the interaction, use an ING after preposition. Mm -hmm. Ok, tell us. Porque ese, por lo menos yo lo hice así. De, de how re, requires responsibility, dedication, and respect for other people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. You are talking about values. But in this case, when we talk about ING form after preposition, that means that we are going to use a bear after four or after two. El B. Cuando nos hablan de usar ING después de una preposición, significa que aquí hay un pronombre antes y dice I am responsible for. Y aquí debe de haber un verbo que ese es el que va a llevar ING. De acuerdo. Okay. 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 Somebody else. What about the rest of people? I don't. I don't see you. I don't see you. I want to see your face. And the, the participate too. Teacher. Hello. Be responsible for giving good service. Mm, yeah, but, but you are not going to use B. You can use a personal pronoun here and you can say, I am responsible for, he is responsible for, she is responsible for, they are responsible for. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Now tell me the, the sentence. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. Is correct. I be responsible for my life. Mm, remember that I told you, you are not going to use be. Instead of say I be, you are going to say I am. I am responsible. I am responsible, responsible for my life. Yeah. But in, in, in that case, you are not using, you are not using uh, any preposition. Because remember, sure. we are talking about ING. Yes, sure. It's sure may, you are using, but it's not adaptable to, 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 to this one. But Did you sure. write the sentence, I'm responsible for my life. Yeah. The chair. Hello. Sure. Will you? Will you make some example to, to understand well? But 
Yeah, I guess if if you make only one to understand the using this. The, yeah. Okay. For example, uh, you can say in my company, I am I am in charge of. En mi compañía, yo soy el encargado uh -huh. de. Yeah, in my company, I am the in share of keeping, oh, the mantener, okay. yeah. Okay. I am in share of paying, soy el encargado de pagar. We can say another, uh, in my house, in my house, I am, I am charged of cleaning yeah 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 it's in that way okay yeah Thank you. okay teacher in uh, my house yeah. i am in charge of feeding the pets <laughs> yeah in my casa soy el encargado de darle de comer a las mascotas In my in my work, I'll order the product. But you have to say, I'm in charge of, or I am responsible for. Remember that you are going to use this. Order the product. I am in charge of ordering the product. I am in charge of selling the product, and so on. Teacher. Hello. I'm my company. I am in chair of supervise the vehicle. Okay, you need to add ING. In chair of supervising the vehicle. What about you, Carla? Carla, Carla, Carla tell us an example. In your house, you are in charge of cooking. In my work, responsible attend the clients. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. In my, in my, my response. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. In my job or in my work, I am responsible for mm -hmm. attending the clients. The clients, okay? Client. Yes. Teacher. Hello. In, in my company, in, in, hold on. in my company, in charge of writing down the hours of try. Remember that we need to use the, the, the personal pronoun. Prano. I am. I am. I am. I am. Share of writing down the hours of try. Okay, remember that we need to use ING. My teacher. Yeah, my, my my office I be charged of the correspondence and customer service. In my office, I am I be charge. I am I am charge. I am charge of the correspondence and customer service. Of receiving, of sending. Recuerden que el hecho de que veamos el B no significa que lo vamos a usar así como está ahí. Ya les expliqué que el B tiene tres formas derivadas que son am, 
Dice, I am, yo soy, yo estoy. Eh, okay. Puede ser are también. You are in charge of going to the bank. She is in charge okay. of... But She's in charge of taking care of the babies. I in the other uh, in my house I am responsible of the buys in the supermarket. Ah, in my house I am responsible for shopping. The the buys for shopping the, for shoppings in the supermarket yeah okay. in my house i am responsibly responsible for playing, for playing the bills ah in my house i am responsible for paying the bills Paying the bills. Paying the bill. Yes. The okay. Uh, please repeat this. In share of. In share of. In share of. In share of. Committed to. Committed to. Committed to. Dedicated to. Dedicated, dedicated to. to Responsible for, responsible, responsible for, accountable for, accountable, accountable for. for. Remember, every time that you see B, that means that you are going to use am, is, or are. Do you remember the 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 verb to be? I suppose that was the first one that you studied. Creo que fue el primero que vieron. I am, you are, he is, she is, we are, they are. Do you remember that? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Teacher. Hello. Uh, I had responsibility for checking my email is correct. Repeat again. I had responsibility for checking my email. For checking my email. Yeah, could be. Yes, yes. Okay, thank you. I, I am responsible for checking my email. Okay. okay. What else? What else? What about exercise number four? Personal versus personal. Which word mean belonging to a particular person? And which word means people who work for a company? In another word, which one is singular and which one is plural? Okay, let us make a review about this topic. Let me see if if you know this topic, let me see. Okay, let me get bigger this. Okay, here we go, singular and plural nouns. Let us see if you know something about this. Now can be singular or plural. When you are talking about one person, animal, place, or scenes, use a singular noun. For example, a sheep, a woman, an owl, a train, a flower. Los nombres pueden ser singulares y plurales. 
cuando usted está hablando acerca de una persona, un animal, lugar o cosa, usamos un nombre en singular. singular. Por ejemplo, a sheep. Un, a sheep. un, what is the name of this? Un yate. Mm. Un barco. Yes. Barco. A woman, una, a mujer, mujer. a novio, un búho, búho, a train, un tren, a flower, una flor. No. una flor. Ok, as you can see, I'm using singular and at the same time I'm using an article. Al mismo tiempo estoy usando un artículo, mire, un barco una mujer, un búho, un tren, una flor. Ok. Uh, take a look at the words that I have here. Because later on I'm going to ask you a question. Why I have A, A, and right here I have N? Porque aquí esto empieza con una vocal, sí. Okay. Todos los demás empiezan con, con una. Before ¿sí? consonant teacher. Ok, ok, ok. I know, I know, I know. Quería que se despertaran. Ok, <laughs> these are also singular nouns. Example. An airplane. A letter. A bicycle, a, bicycle, a, map, a map, a boy, a, a photographer, a, a bus, a, a refrigerator, a comb, a, com, a, slide, a slide, a girl, a, girl, a, swim, a, swing, a swing, a key, a, key, a, band. a band. Okay. Do you know all the words? Ya saben todas esas palabras, ¿cierto? Almost. More, more. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Okay, continue. Use are or an before singular nouns. What Wilfredo said. Use an before words Beginning with vowels, A, E, I, O, U. Somebody wants to read it for me, the vowels? Yes. Stephanie, read it for me, please. Léame las vocales. A, E, U, U. No, no, this one, this one, this one. A. No, we, we're going to start again. Comencemos otra vez. Dice... A, E, A, no, I, I, yeah, like we have a pain, I, I, oh, oh, you, you, okay. for example, say an axe, an egg, an envelope, an ice cream. An igloo, an orange, an umbrella, an uncle. But some words don't follow this rule. For example, use a, no an, before this <coughs> word that begin with you. Ojo con esta regla, pero no todas las palabras siguen esta regla, mire. Ejemplo, use ad, no an, antes de estas palabras que comienzan con you. A uniform. A university. Ojo con eso. No es solamente que sea la, la consonante o que sea la vocal. Has to be, uh, has to do with the sound. Tiene que ver también con el sonido. Porque en este caso no dice uniform, dice uniform. Mm -hmm. A university. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, remember that it's a review because you already started this topic, I suppose. I believe it, I believe it. Okay, use a before words beginning with the on other letters of the alphabet called consonant. For example, say a basket, a car, a hill, a house, a jar, a rainbow, a monster, a pilot, a watch, a two. But some words don't follow this rule. Uh, follow the example. Use an, not a, before this word that begin with H. An? Hey. Hair. 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 An. An? An hour. An hour. An hour. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Keep it in mind. When you are talking about two or more people, animal, places, or scene, use plural nouns. Most nouns are made plural by adding S at the end. For example, bat, bats, bats. mock, mocks, star, stars, fan, fan. Cap, cups, you just add an S, okay? Teacher. We have, we have okay, tell me. Podría poner la, ima, la segunda imagen, por favor. I'm going back again, okay, Th that one? No, anterior. This one? Yes, yeah, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Okay, singular, plural, and singular and plural. Beer, bears, brun, bruns, camel, camels, desk, desk, doll, dolls, egg, eggs, flower, flowers, and so on. Esos nombres ya todos los conocen, ¿verdad? Not all. <laughs> okay, I'm going to share it with you, uh, the, the, the presentation. Some plural nouns end in ES when the last letter of singular nouns are CH, SH, S, double S, or X. You usually add ES to form the plural. Algunos nombres plurales finalizan en ES. Cuando las últimas letras de su singular son SH, perdón, CH, SH, S, S, o X, usualmente se les agrega ES para formar sus plurales. Example. We got an example here. Brush. 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 Watch. Watches. Watches. What? Fox. Foxes. 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 And bus. Buses. Buses. Okay. Some buses. Glass, glasses, and so on. Okay. Keep in mind, please, because remember, this is just an, a review. Singular and plural. Beach, beaches, brown branches, bug boxes, short churches, these ditches, dress, dresses, gas, gases, sandwich, sandwiches. How, how do you say this word? Somebody wants to read it for me? Sandwich. 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 Which, Sandwich. Which is, Sandwich. Do you know what is what is the meaning of this word? Which witches? Sandwich. It's something that is celebrated on October 31st. Which witches? <laughs> El 31 de octubre. Okay, some plural nouns and in ES noun like this are made plural by changing Y to I and adding ES. 
Example, butterfly, butterflies. You see, candy, candies. Canary, canaries. Ojo con eso. Ojo con eso. Remember that. Okay, we had it here. Baby, babies. Cherry, cherries. Dairy, dairies. Dictionary, dictionaries. Fairy, fairies. Family, families, and so on. If there is a vowel before the Y at S to form the plural, key, keys. Try, tries. Turkey, turkeys. Okay, and you have some example there. If a noun end in F, you often change F to B and add ES. We note it like irregulars. Estos son como irregulares. Si terminan en F, lo cambia a una B y le agrega ES. Ejemplo, calf, calves. Elf, elves. Half, halves. Leaf, leaves. Love, loves. Show, shelves. Thief, thief. Wolves. So now that N in F just need S to form plural. Chef, chef. Chief, cliff, cliff. Handkerchief, handkerchief. Roof, roof. Sheriff, sheriff. You know? Question so far? Alguna pregunta hasta aquí? Se me están durmiendo. Yo, teacher. Ok, oh. tell me, tell me, tell me. Este, en la diapositiva anterior, eh, parece que pasó una que sobre agregar el ES al final. Déjame, sí. ¿Dice? No Creo que era una anterior. Mm, no, eso, eso. Yeah, okay. Uh -huh, okay. Tell me. Ajá, este dijo que se agregaba el ES cuando terminaba con H y con X solamente. Sí, H, S, H, ah, S, double S o X. Cuando termine en CH, SH, S, doble S o X. Thank you, teacher. Okay, okay. You're welcome, sir. Teacher. Hi. Would you show me, please, the, the next? This one? Yeah. Okay. Tell me. There is something I, special? I'm making a screen because uh, my computer doesn't work. And I'm oh, going really? to make it with my cell phone. Would you show me the next, please? This one? Yeah. If you want, uh, I can share with you the, the, the PPT. Please, teacher, because I need to practice and study tomorrow. You, you need to keep all this information at hand. Okay. Okay. Sí, porque es bastante. Entonces, mejor les comparto la diapositiva para que les quede ahí puedan estudiarla. Please, teacher. Yeah, and I'm showing you. Can the... Share in, the, in the chat, WhatsApp or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My email? Okay. No, no, okay. In, the, in, in the WhatsApp. Okay. And, and I'm showing you this because uh, do you remember we talk about personal and personal? Yeah. And how to do something like we are talking about right now. Okay. Like, 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 like for example, this one. Some word that N in F and plural can be spelled in two different ways. For example, darf, darf or darps. Hoof, 
hoops or hoops, a scarf, a scarf or scarves. But this information uh, you can keep it for you because you are going to use it in, in another levels. Ya estas partes son como un poco más avanzaditas y les van a servir más adelante. Ahí ahorita lo que les estoy haciendo es como dándoles a grosso modo algunos detalles. If a noun ending O, you just add S to for the plural. A reno, renos, a hip, hips, a video, videos, a su, sus, a hipo, hipos, hipos. Okay, I'm gonna share it with you all this information because it's a lot of information and you need to keep it in mind. Okay, now going back again to this. Complete the statement with the appropriate word, personal or personal. But before to do that, we need to be clear about this. Which word mean belonging to a particular person? ¿Cuál de esas significa en una persona en particular? Necesitamos buscar cuál es cuál. Number one, who is responsible for the, at the plan? Which one is the, is the right word? Personal. The personal or the personal? High six on. Please do not break your problem. Hmm? <clears throat> Personal. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. Because, because. Okay, remember. About... Okay. Who is responsible for the at the plan? Is personal or personal? Personal. A different teacher, teacher if, if I use personal or personal. Is per personal, personal. El personal, ¿quién es el responsable del personal en la planta? Number two, does the marketing manager have a does the marketing manager have a which Teacher, one? Per personal assistant? A personal assistant, entonces significa que personal es singular y el otro es el plural. Ok. Number three, it's necessary to train more for the high season. What is the word that we had to use it? Personnel or personal? Personnel. It's necessary personnel. to train more personnel. Personnel, personnel for the high season. Necesitaría entrenar, entrenar más personal uh -huh. para, la para, 
para la temporada alta, ¿sí? Ok, number four. Please do not bring your... Personal problems personal, to the office. Personal, personal problem to the office, oh, ok? Remember that. If you have a problem, don't take it with you to your company. Leave it out in the main entrance. Ahí hay que dejarlo en la entrada principal. As soon as you go back, you take it. Cuando ya vaya para su casa, lo agarra otra vez y se lo lleva. Ya. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Number five. Personal. Or the Personal. Need new uniform. The personnel of the workshop need the new uniforms. Okay. A new uniform. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Let me number see. Number two. Ah, number two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, does the marketing manager have a... As soon as you see, as, cuando, ya, cuando ya vemos la, esta letra A, eso me está diciendo que es singular o plural. Singular. Singular. Singular, por lo tanto, singular. I'm going to use... Personal. Personal. Personal, ok. Keep it in mind. Remember that next week you are going to have a test. Ok. Lo que no preguntaron, no, después van a decir... Se me olvidó preguntar. <laughs> yes. Ok. Uh, let us see, Santineo. Let me see what I have here. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Slide, but I can see it. Okay, um, let me see what else we can study for to make a review. I have some exercise about passive voice, but I don't know what is happening with my computer. Let me close something here in order that we can see it because I can share my screen. And I have another exercise to do it. Mm, I need to close another, let me see. Because I have a lot of, a lot of in here.
Let me see, let me see, let me see what else I have here. And I can show it. I'm having a problem to show you something else. I don't know why. I got it here. I got it here, okay. I got it here, okay. Before to leave, we want to talk about, we are going to make some exercises about passive voice. Do you remember that we, we talk about this? Hablamos de los pasivos. In this case, these sentences are in active. Mr. Young watches film. El señor Young mira películas. How we are going to switch it into passive? ¿Cómo lo vamos a hacer pasivo? Mr. John, Mr. John is watch spells. No. No, remember that uh, in order to switch in passive, we need to switch uh, the, the, let me see, the subjects and the object. And... Mm. Recuerden que Pero, le dije que tenemos que hacernos una pregunta. ¿Qué es lo que mira el señor Jones? Film. Film. Okay. Film, Film is going to be a better word that is going to be here. Feels. What? But you are missing something. Singular or plural? Feel. Uh, singular. Is, uh, plural. Plural. Uh, okay. Plural. If the if uh, it is plural, we are going to use a be form after feel. Vamos a usar una forma del be después de la palabra feel. Que es cuál sería? Feel are what what? Ah, okay, that's it. Are 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 watch it, please. Films. Are watched. Are watched. Remember watch. that we, watch. Going, we are going to use the past participle of the verb. Okay, let us go ahead. Number two, the people speak English. What do they speak? English. Are, are English. English. Singular or plural? Singular. Uh, English. Singular. Okay, if if it is singular, you are going to use is or it's, are. It's, English is it's, it's, it's speak. It's speak English. English. English is speak English. Is. Is speak English. Speak. English is spoken. Uh, so remember that I show you a chart at the beginning of the class. Les mostré una tablita para que se recordaran. La voy a mostrar otra vez. Por aquí la tengo. I have it here. Okay. Let me see if I can find the, the bird that I'm trying to get it here. Let me see. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see if I have it here. Okay, here we go. Speak. Spoke. 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 Spoken. Spoken. English is spoken. This one are the one that in Spanish they end in uh, hablado. El inglés es hablado. For that reason, I recommend you to learn by heart this 
irregular verb. Speak, spoke, spoken. I speak English. I spoke French. I have spoken different languages. Ok, me recuerdan que también les debo de regalar esta tablita. Oye, please, please. ahí me recuerdan. <risa> Congratulations. Okay, number three. Teacher. Hi. Este, entonces la respuesta de la do, de la número dos, ¿cómo sería? Sería English is spoken. English is Porque aquí está en la voz activa, dice que las personas hablan inglés. Entonces la pregunta sería, ¿qué es lo que hablan las personas? La respuesta de eso sería inglés. El inglés es hablado. Hasta ahí, si queremos conocer a la gente, by the people. ¿Ya? Esa es la voz activa. ¿Se recuerdan cuando les expliqué? Dice, María cocina un pollo. ¿Qué es lo que cocina María? Un pollo. Pollo. Okay. Entonces, pero la oración en pasivo ya quedaría así. Un pollo es cocinado by María. Esa, o sea, eso es lo que se le llama voz pasiva. Debemos de entender qué es lo activo y qué es lo pasivo. María limpia la casa. ¿Qué es lo que limpia María? The house. House is cleaned by María. Ok, pero ese verbo clean debe de llevar ID. Clean. Clean. Ok, hagamos el 3. He reads comic. ¿Qué es lo que lee él? Comic. Historietas. Comic. Ok. Comic. Historietas. Comic. Okay. Comics. Is comics. Is wrong. No. ¿Por qué is? Si tenemos es at the end. Comics are. Ah, ok. Comic are. are. Comic are. Red. Red. Y ahí es Real. desaparece la S a la hora de ya de pasarlo. Ok, number four. We play oh. volleyball. What do we play? ¿Qué es lo que jugamos nosotros? Volleyball. Volleyball. Play. Excuse I'll me. Play. Volleyball. Volleyball. Is o are? Is play. Is play. Yeah. Is play. Volleyball. Remember, remember that the word volleyball is singular. And you are going to use this is volleyball is, is played. Is volleyball played. Volleyball is played. Volleyball is played. Esa es la voz pasiva. Oh. Okay, let us see another example that I have here. Okay. I don't know if you can see it very well. I'm going to get bigger. They sing the song. What they think? Cantar. ¿Qué es lo que hacen um, ellos? Can, canta. Canta. Una canción. Canta una canta canción. Una canción. Ah, entonces la pregunta quizás sería ¿Qué es lo que ellos cantan? The song. Ok. It is. The sing. song is. Sing. Are. Are, are they? The sun is the sun is, is, is participio del verbo sing sun sing sun 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 is sun okay number six I take photos. Photos are For, taken. Are taken. Photos are taken. Taken. 
Photos taken. are taken. Taken. Las fotografías son tomadas. Bueno, ese cuaderno ya debe estar lleno de tanta nota que van escribiendo ahí, ¿ok? Excellent. Number seven. She does the housework. What does she do? ¿Qué hace ella? Housework. Tarea del hogar. Tarea del hogar. Housework. Ajá. Made. But you are missing something. Housework. Is yes. or are. Is. Is. Ok, lo vamos a dejar uh, y luego vamos a comprobación. ¿Quién dice is y quién dice are? Vamos a ver. Are. Ok, you say are. And, and others say is. Ok. They are. Our teacher. Our. Ah, but what about the bird? ¿Cómo quedaría el verbo? Made. No, porque el verbo no es, no es made, sino que es do. Do. Did. Did es pasado. Done. 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 Ok. Done. Done. Ok. Done. Ok, the last one. The policeman help the children. ¿A quién le ayudó la policía? Los niños. Los niños. The children. Los niños. The children. Is o are. Is. Is. No, is are. 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 Singular o plural. Are. Are. Plural. Are. Plural. Ok. ¿Cómo estaría? The children are. Uh, are. Help. 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 With ED at the end. Ok. Help. Help. Veamos, Help. veamos si lo hicimos bien. Comprobación. Ahí está, mire. La forma correcta. Mr. Jones washes field. Fields are washed. Mire. Field are washed. Field are washed. The people speak English. English is spoken. He reads comics. Comics are read. We play volleyball. Volleyball is played. Se comprende? Play. Se comprende? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Okay. Ok, 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 ok. What about this one? They think the sun. The sun is sang. La canción es cantada. Esa es voz pasiva. En otras palabras, lo que nos va a determinar cuando sea pasivo es que lleve una forma de el be, que ya sea am, is o are, y el verbo se encuentre en pasado Participio. participio y así sabremos si está o no en activo o en pasivo hay pay photos photos are taken mire yo tomo fotos las fotos son tomadas she does the housework vaya la que estábamos ahí con dudas si era iso are mire the house is the housework is done Sí, los quehaceres son hechos. And the last one, the policemen help the children. The children are help. Ok. Question at this moment? No question? Yes. Uh... Estos que aparecen en rojo acá, eh, ¿por qué está eh, con, este, corrección. con esta corrección? Tienen una explicación extra, pero no, la, no, no, no me la mostró. No, ni me la muestra acá. Uh -huh. 
Porque acá, en vez de escribir la palabra completa de houseware, solo existía la palabra house. Uh -huh. Houseware. Por eso es que aquí da una, da una explicación extra. Y aquí, si se fijan, había un error. Aquí había un error en el spelling, mire. Children. Children. Y aquí la I estaba antes, por eso es que la marca oh. así de esa manera. Mm. Ok. Now we are going to make a, a brief uh, summary of what we, of what we, we talked today. Hagamos un resumen corto de lo que hablamos hoy. Veamos. In your own words, explain me how you are going to use all the topic that we talked today. De los infinitivos. Okay, how to use infinity. Okay, explain me. Mm. Passive voice. Okay, we talk about passive voice too. Pero necesito que cada uno me, me tome un temito y me diga, okay, we are going to use this because this. We are going to do this because this. Y así me van a demostrar que ya están listos para la siguiente unidad. Ya. Yeah. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay. I'm gonna let you think of. En lo que se recuerdan, chequeo otra vez la, la asistencia. Uh, teacher, we, and we were uh, personal and person. Ah, okay. We talk about which one is singular and which one is plural. Personal is uh, what? Singular or plural? Uh, singular. Personnel. Uh, plural. Uh -huh. Okay. Personal is singular. Okay, 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 okay. Rosita está ahí, okay. Okay. Genara, Inés. Present. Present. Okay, Gutierrez Sánchez. Aquí estoy. Karen, enferma, sí. está enferma, ok. Eh, Ana Daisy. Present teacher. Eh, Wilfredo Guardado. Present teacher. Ok. Uh, Leslie. Present teacher. Francisco. Edward. Christian. Alexis. Present teacher. Felicita. Helen María. Ana Roxana. Present teacher. Fausto. Present. Carla. Present. Mengíbar Contreras. Eliani. Present. Present. And Walter Mauricio. Present teacher. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And let me see how many students we have here. I got thirteen. Okay. Remember that at the moment that I uh, mention your name, you need to, to tell me present, present. Imagine that I have, a, right now, let me see, I got 13 participants. Tengo 13 participantes en la videoconferencia y solo me contestan 12. Les va a aparecer ahí que, que no están presentes. 
y después van a decir, no, él me dejó fuera, me dejó fuera. Y no es así, por eso le, le llamé. Pero todavía estoy corroborando. Ahí estamos completos. Ahí estamos completos. Ok. Um, what else? Let me see the time that we have now. Oof. Okay, well, I, I've been trying to, to give you some extra information about this topic in order that you can get familiar with it. And also, uh, I'm going to, to share with you the slices and the list of irregular bear in order that you can have it and you can start it, okay? I do really appreciate your staying with me. Today is the ending of this week that we start on Monday. I hope to see you the next Monday. Try to study the next unit in order that you can uh, understand exactly about what we are going to talk. Great teacher, thank you. So please, uh, tomorrow, have a nice weekend. Try to attend your family and, and your son and daughters. And I hope to see you next Monday, OK? OK, thank you. OK, teacher. Okay. Don't, thank don't, you. Don't forget, OK, don't forget that you need to get into the platform and so all the exercises that you have there. Tienen que hacer todas las tareitas para que todo vaya bien. No nos acumulemos. La otra semana tenemos ya la primera prueba relacionada a los temas que hemos visto. He tratado de ser lo más claro que he podido. Y, well, I'm doing my best. And I don't, I don't have to to speak Spanish, you know, but in order that you can understand something, I, I, I need to do it. Por ser eh, principiantes, he tenido que, que explicarles algunas cosas en español, but for the next level, only is in English. Okay? Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. And I hope to see you the next class. Okay, thank you. Good night, Good night, Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you next week. And tomorrow I'm going to send it the, the presentation. Okay. 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 Bye bye. Bye. Lost.